Yasas everybody and thank you so much for joining me, Anna Savo, for another Meraki TV. Tonight we visit brand new Greek Australian theatre company, Blue Stage Theatre, learn all about the Colossus of Rhodes, catch up with DJ Crazy Con and discuss his amazing career. Helen is in her cuisine whipping up some olive bread with a twist and we get all the glitz and goss with Stavroula. Kicking off tonight though is the Being Greek Festival. Now in its fourth year, it began as the brainchild of Cogera Parish priest, Father Sophronius, who wanted to, at a time when Greece's PR was less than favourable, remind his community to be proud. And what better day to centre it around than Ochi Day, October 28, when Greece's bravery changed the course of history. To bring his vision to fruition, he enrolled three young and passionate individuals, James Asimakopoulos, Anthony Bateris, and Nick Galanopoulos. The festival started in 2012 when Father Sofroni uh, decided to bring the community together to celebrate Ochi Day. Not only to remember those who have fallen for freedom, for our freedom, but also to celebrate that freedom that they, that they gave their lives for. You're absolutely right. I am an unashamed Phil Helene. Um, and uh, you know, you could not imagine, you could not possibly imagine modern Australia without the contribution of the Greeks to this country. That was one of those tipping points in history uh, when the Prime Minister said no, Ochi, when he said no to the, uh, to the demands that the country be occupied. But what he was really saying was yes to freedom. He was saying yes to independence, yes to the values of the Western world that the dictators were seeking to crush. Throughout the whole day we get about 15 to 20,000 people. At any one time there's about four to five thousand people in the park. The biggest thing we'd like to see is this festival to keep going on every year, year in year out, regardless of, of who's running it, whether it's us three and father. Um, it's now got its own uh, lifeblood where it, it can keep going annually no matter who's running it. We've done this for church and community and we'd like to see this you know, keep going every year in the way it is. With it, thank God, with our sponsors, uh, it will, and our support from our volunteers as well. What is the secret ingredient? Can you tell us? Oh, secret. Flower, flower, a lot of love. When, when it's made with love, everything turns out beautiful. When you dance, it becomes more tasty. It makes us all realize that we need people like Father Sofronios in the community. We value him and his drive and his passion for the church and his passion for people in general and his, his love for, for everyone. Um, I know personally that he's guided me um, in many ways as a friend and as a spiritual father. Um, so I can only imagine the other countless lives that he's touched. Um, so if one thing that we can drive home is that people like Father Sofronios do exist in the church and we strongly believe that they're the new generation and they're going to bring us forward into the new, into the, the years to come. We're third generation. Our grandfather came here in 1901 and we couldn't love Greece more than, the, any, than now. What's your favourite part about today? Um, probably eating. <laughs> Simon was here all day yesterday and we got here at about six this morning. What are you doing here today? Oh, I'm working very hard doing the tattooing as you can see. You want to come and get one yeah, put on? I'd like to see this. Okay. <laughs> To 
did you know there are plans being considered to rebuild the Colossus of Rhodes? The Colossus of Rhodes was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world and was built on the island of Rhodes between 292 and 280 BC. The statue was a depiction of the Greek sun god Ilios and was meant to celebrate their victory over the ruler of Cyprus in 305 BC. At 30 metres high, the Colossus was one of the tallest statues of the ancient world. It only stood for 56 years until it was destroyed by an earthquake in 226 BC. Iremia Home Care Services. It's so difficult asking for help. Take the stress out and enjoy precious time because there's no place like home. Iremia.com.au Glico 0405 771 819 for Babanieri special treats and to make your event a hit. Call Glico 0405 771 819. Wish you were in Greece, Melbourne, New York or any other exotic destination? Call Peter at Mega Travel 9824 2427. Mega Travel. You all know our man with the music news, Mr. DJ Crazy Con. His Grease series has been groundbreaking in the music industry here in Australia. But how did it all come about? Instead of the music news this week, I sat down with Crazy to get the lowdown on just how it all happened. Crazy, it's such a pleasure to be talking to you this week. I'm holding in my hand Grease 2015, summer session. Yes, you are. Are you really proud, mate? Because I think you should be. I am, I am. First of all, it's great talking to you and the Maraki TV viewers. Um, I'm very proud. Album 16 is uh, done and dusted. And uh, we've got a huge album, uh, 20 tracks. Um, all the latest summer sounds that were big in Greece over the months of July and August. It's moved from the world music charts to the dance charts. Yes. So we've moved into a very, very competitive chart in Australia. We actually uh, debuted the album in the top 10 out of the 150 dance albums in Australia. I can't imagine how much work goes into this. What's the process? How do you pick your songs? How do, what happens? Tell us, walk us through it. You know, there's about seven or eight weeks worth of work there from the time that I uh, speak to the record label to determine the next release and, and when we're going to bring it out to when it actually hits the shelf. So, you know, there's uh, a process where you have to compile the music. So then basically we make an approach to license the, the track and the record label and the artist have to give approval to us for them to be on, on the compilation. And once I mix it down, then we master the album and then basically it goes to manufacturing with a record label and that takes a couple of weeks and then you'll see it on the shelf. Tell me, the first time you walked into a English record store yep. and you saw one of your CDs there, can you relive that moment for me? HMV at Hurstville in Westfields and it was uh, 2000 and uh, the Grease 2004 album which came out in, uh, in November 2003 just before Christmas and um, I walked in there and I saw it up on the wall and it was in the top 10 for HMV there. And just to see the album and know the hard work because, you know, like I was fighting for a good year to get someone to listen to what I wanted to do and whatever. Just to see, just there was a flashback of all the knockbacks I got, the no's and people that wouldn't believe in it or wouldn't, you know. Tell me, you, you mentioned when you saw it in um, HMV that you remembered all the knockbacks. So what would you say to anyone who's got one of those crazy dreams? Um, I, did a, I wouldn't stop until I was going to get it done. You know, I had a big fight oh, to get it done with the labels here. Not just that, once I convinced the Australian labels and a record label to give me a, a chance, then I had to convince the Greek labels. Oh. You continue to break barriers. Congratulations. Thank you. Very, very proud of Thank you, Thank you very much. Nice and color. it's on iTunes right now? It's yes, available. it's on iTunes right now. Uh, that's iTunes Worldwide. Um, it is also online. You can get it from my music store, which is crazymusic.com.au. And also in all good music stores, uh, it's available in uh, new Greek stores and outlets throughout uh, Sydney, Melbourne and Adelaide. 
and um, also uh, the mainstream stores as well. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Helen Dimitriou is a household name, primarily because her quick and easy recipes make us all look like master chefs. And tonight she's set to do more of the same with her scrumptious olive bread with a twist. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Helen's Cuisina. Today I'm going to show you how to make olive bread that's going to please absolutely everybody. They've got a little bit of a twist to them, they taste like a shortbread but they're an olive bread. You're going to love them. We've got our three cups of flour, pour in our one cup of olive oil. Next is our one cup of orange juice. Fresh orange juice is always best. We're just going to give it a really, really, really good mix. We're going to get our hands in there just to get the dough going. But to start off with, give it a really good mix with a wooden spoon. Once you get to the stage where you know you've got to get your hands in there, guys, you're going to know. It looks like dough. As you can see, it's coming along beautifully. These are all made in your hands. There's no rolling pins involved. There's no sitting of the dough. It's so simple. So our dough is ready. You can put that aside just for about five minutes until we get our olive mixture ready, but it's ready to go. A tip on this one, guys, is that the dough needs to be really moist. It's not a dry dough, it's a moist dough. I've got here about a cup of chopped olives. I like to get the olives, the Kalamata olives are the best ones, pip them and then chop them myself. Pop in some finely diced red onion, really, really finely diced because that's going to give it that sweetness. We've got some really beautifully finely chopped mint, fresh mint, always the best. It's so fragrant, it's really going to lift this olive bread and you can never have enough mint. I like to add some dried mint as well, just gives it that extra flavour. Give it a really good toss, make sure you mix up all your ingredients. So we've got our dough here, we've got our olive mixture and we've got the oven on 180 degrees. They're going to take about 20 minutes to cook. As soon as they come out, they're ready to eat. No need to grease the tray, there's enough olive oil in there for you. A little ball, about the size of your palm and we're going to squeeze them down with the side of your hand. Squeeze the pastry out with your hand until it gets to the size of your palm. Make it as even as possible and then a spoonful of that beautiful olive mixture and roll. Seal it up. Make sure that you cover all of the olive just so that there's no leakage there, but if there's leakage, hey, it's rustic. You can make these and pre-freeze them. Cook them first, as you would normally, 20 minutes in the oven on 180, pop them in a freezer bag and leave them in the freezer. When you've got those unexpected guests, Pull them out, heat them up, and they're ready to go. And here they are, ready to eat, straight out of the oven. Pop them on a breadboard, a few little olives on the side. Galiotix here. <laughs> to click on Helen's Cuisina on our website to check out details of Helen's home cooking classes. Did you know that in 2014, the Mayor of Rhodes announced plans for the rebuilding of the Colossus? Along with a group of European scientists, the Mayor is planning a site for the Colossus based on a design by the Greek Cypriot sculptor Nikos Kotiamanis. The new Colossus would be nearly four times the height of the original one, and will include a library, museum, cultural centre, exhibition hall and a crowning lighthouse visible for over 50 kilometres. Biblico 0405 for Babanieri special treats and to make your event a hit. Call Glico 0405 771 Iremia Home Care Services. It's so difficult asking for help. Take the stress out and enjoy precious time because there's no place like home. eremia.com.au Wish you were in Greece? 
Melbourne, New York, or any other exotic destination, call Peter at Mega Travel, 98242427. Mega Travel. Blue Stage Theatre are a brand new Greek theatre company here in Australia who are brave enough to really incorporate a myriad of different elements into their productions. Their maiden voyage, Igambriti Symphoras, was a homage to the golden age of Greek cinema and included audiovisual, dancing and live instruments mixed in with great script writing and acting by seasoned pros and novices alike. Maria Kokla still went along to find out more. Είμαστε με τον Άκη Καστελωρίου και τον Βαγγέλη Χουλιάρα. Okay, Άκη, πείτε μας πώς ξεκίνησε αυτή η ιδέα. Ε, αυτή η ιδέα δημιουργήθηκε με εμένα και το, μεταξύ εμένα και του Βαγγέλη. Αποφασίσαμε να κάνουμε κάτι καινούριο, κάτι διαφορετικό και αποφασίσαμε να δημιουργήσουμε το Blue Stage Theater. Παπά, μωμά ήρθε. Πέρασε, Τζάκα. Αυτή είναι η πρώτη σας ε, παράσταση, έτσι. Αυτή είναι η πρώτη μας παράσταση σαν Blue Stage Theater. Ναι, ε, αισθανόμαστε συγκινημένοι γιατί όταν βλέπεις την ιδέα σου, τη σκέψη και το δυο μας να γίνεται πραγματικότητα, να παίρνει ψυχή από την ψυχή των παιδιών που έπαιξα, νιώθεις ότι ναι, όπως είπα στο Βαγγέλη, Βαγγέλη, τα καταφέραμε, τελειώσαμε. Κούβετος, ναι, κούβετος. <laughs> Εσύ τώρα παίζεις κάποιο που μου θυμίζει τόσο πολύ το Βέγκο, αυτό τι, πώς το έχεις ε, δέσει τόσο τέλεια. Δεν ξέρω αν το έχω δέσει έτσι, δηλαδή σκόπιμα. Απλώς προσπαθώ να κάνω τη δουλειά μου όσο μπορώ καλύτερα και ότι βγει, βγήκε. Ναι, ναι, γεια Ναι, Τι έχει το μέλλον για το Blue Stage Theater. Έχει πολλά και με στη φαντασία του Άκη φάτε που θα πάμε να. Το, το Μάρτιο θα ξεκινήσει και δούλευμα μας παραγωγή που θα είναι το κομμωτήριο για κλάματα που θα συμμετέχει και το κοινό μαζί μας, θα παίζει και το κοινό. Κάθε μέρα θα υπάρχει ένα διαφορετικό, ένα διαφορετικό story στο, στο έργο. Υπάρχει το παιδικό θέατρο που θα, τη, θα ξεκινήσει και αυτό με τη νέα χρονιά και, θα, και ζητάμε τα παιδιά να μας στηρίξουν γιατί είναι πολύ καλό να κρατάμε την κουλτούρα μας και την κλώσσα μας ζωντανή. Έπαιξες θέατρο στην Ελλάδα? Στην Ελλάδα δυστυχώς δεν πρόβα να παίξω θέατρο, αλλά όταν ήρθε εδώ πέρα ο κύριο Σάξης μου, μου δείξε το δρόμο του θέατρου και ε, έχω να πω ότι με ευχαριστήσε, με, είμαι, ήμουν πολύ ευχαριστημένος που έγινε αυτό. This whole idea of actually getting the children to perform in the Greek is absolutely amazing. Um, what was their response to that? Oh, they were thrilled, thrilled. It was just amazing. I, I really enjoyed dancing and like acting and all that. Made something together like teamwork. All the people came from different places to come and watch us. We had a lot of fun. 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 But when you express your voice and your voice of the theater, because we don't forget that the theater started from Greece. The original tragedy, the original comedy. Είδαμε ότι υπήρξε μια πολύ ζεστή ανταπόκριση και νομίζω ότι όλοι εδώ έχουν ανάγκη για κάτι καινούργιο, κάτι ευχάριστο. Εγώ, εγώ παίζω με τον γιο μου και την κόρη μου μαζί και είμαι ευτυχισμένος που μπορώ και δείχνω τι αγάπησα στα παιδιά μου και τα αγαπάνε και αυτά. Α, το θέατρο όμως ήταν η δουλειά μου στην Ελλάδα και το αγαπάω και γι' αυτό το συνεχίζω εδώ. Ξέρω ότι δεν μου δίνει, δεν μου δίνει χρήματα αλλά δεν μπορώ να ζήσω και χωρίς αυτό. Όλα σχετικά ήταν καινούργια για μας, γιατί είμαστε όλοι ερασιτέχνες. Ξεκίνησα από ταινία, να μου αρέσει το βιολί, το επάγγελμα που θέλω να ακολουθήσω, ιατρική, από ταινίες, φάλι. What do you think about when you're actually dancing? I feel like I'm being reunited with my culture, with my blood. I don't know, it's just feel really fulfilled when I dance. She brings us all the news from all around the world. If it's Greek and fabulous, it's on the Glitz and Goss with Stavroula. Hi, I'm Stavroula with the Glitz and Goss. The Interabank Festival of Questions is a first and is looking for the best questions in the world. You ask the questions and a brain's trust of 25 of the world's most inquisitive minds will direct and shape the discussions on stage. The Interabank will be taking over a cultural chunk of Collins Street in Melbourne CBD for a captivating discussion. Special guest, the former Greek finance minister and most interesting man, Yanis Varoufakis. 
27 and 28 November. Pose your question at the Interrobang Festival website. A few things you may not know about Yanis Farufakis from Prototema. He always enjoyed holidaying in Crete and especially saw nudist beaches. He had his own radio show in Australia with a cult following and he soon became known as the Greek Idol. He once dressed up as a hooligan to promote the free press Lifo site. He inspired the Varufanki cocktail, adding ingredients 30ml lemon juice, 45ml masticha, 30ml orange liqueur or triple sec to a shaker. Fill with ice, shake for 10 seconds and serve into a nice martini glass. Garnish with a lemon slice and sprinkle ground pepper. Over 2,000 women in high heels attended a Guinness World Record event at the picturesque port of Thessaloniki. The participants had to wear platforms and cross a raised catwalk 1,250 metres without falling or stumbling to the finish line in under three hours. This event, part of the largest charity fair ever in the city's history, raised money to support people in need, distributing over 100,000 euros in groceries, soup kitchens and for gathering clothes, toys and medicine. Australia, things are looking up. Hiring a deck chair, beach umbrella and ordering a gyros, Greek salad and frappe directly to your beach towel might become a reality. The famous Gold Coast is about to get commercialised. It will bring the sun-kissed sands of the glitter strip into line with Greece. Well, almost. And what about the music, hey Mr DJ? Greek Australian award-winning author Christos Tsiolkas, famous for his book The Slap, which was adapted as a TV series here, as well as the US, is a finalist in the Melbourne Prize for Literature. Winner will be announced 27 November. His latest novel, Barracuda, also made a big splash, becoming an instant bestseller. That's all the glitz and goss tonight. Catch me next week on Meraki TV. Guys, unfortunately, the time has come to part yet again. Thank you so much for joining us. Also, a big thank you to all our guests tonight, as well as our sponsors, Glico, Eremaeus, and Mega Travel. Make sure you check out their websites for more details on their extraordinary services. During the week, stay in touch with us via our Facebook pages, Twitter and Instagram, and watch replays of the show on our YouTube channel and our website, www.medaki.tv. Tonight, I'm leaving you with a very special young man from the Blue Stage Theatre Company who has a Greek version of the Irish joke for us. Until next week, Bediar. Φιλάκια από μέ, ένα σεβό. Αυτό είναι για τους πόδιους. Γιατί ο πόδιος βγαίνει έξω όταν είναι κεραφνή. Γιατί. Γιατί νομίζω ότι ο Θεός σου βγάζει φωτογραφίες.